Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy? And quickly, I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? Don't worry, Bob. Got a tiny bit no time. Hi, Wendy. Just checking in. I've got the rope ladder in place, the viewing deck ready, and I'm just about to fix the windows. What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. Don't worry, I'll make the flag. After I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. We don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the Spring City Rockets' favourite things. They're going to be so impressed. Careful of the sticky stuff, Safi. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can hang the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything OK? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Safi. You go. I'll be along in a minute. <gasps> Oof! Oh, I see. It's very, very sticky. OK, everything's in place. Dizzy's arrived with the cement. We just need Bob to bring the flag. Wendy! I just had the best idea. We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Safi, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place, making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. OK? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are tidy. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? That. That's what's going to happen. Ah. Uh, can you help me clear them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to tidy them later. Come on, let's go. In the meantime, we can do all the jobs that aren't so scary for the animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo would better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. Pilchard, come to me. Oh, please. Bob's waiting to start work. Wow. Oh. Come on, Leo. You can do it. Gotcha! Now to take care of Cooper. <coughs> no, Pilchard! Careful! Ow! 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 Right. No one should touch the new plasterboard walls. The paint's still wet. Um... Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig out the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. <laughs> Good, Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! 
Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam! No, Bob! That's dangerous! Stay where you are! I'm coming! Okay then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny! Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Are we nearly down yet, Bob? Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. Sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up in a lift and see the whole of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're OK. But it was a really silly thing to do. OK, OK, that's enough, you two. Right, if we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. Done. Hello, team. Mayor Madison. My hair is done, and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Right. We just need to call the lift. One for you too, Mr Bentley. Thank you, Leo. Oh. Going up all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see the whole of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr Bentley. Oh, uh... No! No, 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 no! Shoot! 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 Get, get off! Mm. Oh. Not get sure. Off. She looks quite her best. I've seen her look better. Get off! Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Get some bird seed. Wow! My concrete looks amazing. It's so colourful and fun and and squelchy and sticky. Uh oh. Scoop, this concrete's not dry. Ooh, this concrete isn't dry. I know, Lofty. Ew. Oh no! Why isn't my concrete dry? I, I don't understand it. Come on, Scoop. Back up. Back up. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. I can't believe we left it all night. And it's still not dry. Well, you were right about one thing, Scoop. Everyone's talking about your concrete. Oh, Bob. This is all my fault. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. It wasn't a mistake, Bob. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tati experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun. I wanted to try something fun too. I'm really sorry, Bob. I'll go and clear it all off. You know, I'd never have created my legendary purple fizzle crush chunky delight if I hadn't tried mixing red currants, rhubarb, and cheesy biscuits. That sounds, um, interesting. But 
It has given me an idea. Muck, take me back to the yard. Right, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dustbin. Wow! Yellow, red and blue cement! And crunchy gravel chunks too! And it's quick drying. And I'll mix it all up for you! Looks way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. OK, this is my last try at creating the Tatalicious Shake-tastic Surprise. That's it. That is truly Shake-tastic. What did you put in it, Chef? Strawberry. Just plain strawberry. Cos sometimes the usual is the best. Mmm. Maybe it needs a touch more vanilla. We put these rubber pads on the bottom layer of buttons, then put another layer of buttons on top of those at right angles. Like squares? Good, Leo. And then we put a final layer of buttons on top at right angles again. It's a pattern, like weaving a basket. So that's 35 metres long. Ooh, watch that. It's a mirror ball to hang over the dance floor. As it spins, the lights bounce off it, like this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd love to dance under that, Wendy. If we don't make a start, nobody will be dancing under it. Come on. He's near yet. Never mind. Spring City Rockets, let's practice. Don't worry, Brandon. I can't dance either. Everyone can dance, Lofty. You just need to find your own style. This way! I'm dancing. I can do it! I can! Dum dee dum dum da 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 dum dee dum dum Come on, Mr Bentley. I have to be perfect for tonight. Once more, with feeling. Gently, bendly, bend the knees. Oh, it's huge. Imagine dancing on that, Safi. Is this my dance floor? Sylvan! Yay! It isn't finished yet, Mr D'Souza. We need to add the plywood layers and dance surface. I would like to see this, please. Of course. Lofty. Can you fetch the plywood, please? It would be an honour, Bob. <laughs> that all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! Move to a safe distance. Now the frame is breaking. Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame and why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault, it was mine. 
I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I should have never attempted such a big job by myself. Sorry, Bob. Oh, and I'm sorry, too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow. That's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're going to need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! And this time, Leo, I will make sure I'm there to help you. So, Mila, to win the trophy for Spring City, here is your final question. What should you put on door hinges to stop them squeaking? Is it A, water, B, oil, or C, salt? I know. Bob used this on Mayor Madison's squeaky doors. The answer is B, oil. Correct! Yay! All thanks to my squeaky dolls. Uh, Bob, do you think we could keep the TV in the yard? And whose idea was this? Wendy's. <sighs> so, we've got the basics done. We just need those materials from Lofty. OK, everyone, let's go. Bob? Bob? What's the matter, Jenny? I've lost Gertie. Um... My long-haired Peruvian guinea pig. One minute I was feeding her, and the next minute she completely disappeared. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I've looked everywhere. Is it my imagination or is Jenny's hair moving? Uh, Jenny, I think there might be one place you haven't looked. Oh, no. Don't make me go back in the monkey house. <laughs> Don't worry. Here she is. Oh, <laughs> who's a naughty girl? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Wow, this is all looking marvellous. I'm sure the giraffe will love it. Doesn't the giraffe have a name, Jenny? Like Bertie does. Not yet, Dizzy. Maybe we can give him a name when he gets here. Right, we need to get you back to your enclosure, Gertie. Gertie? Gertie? Oh. Gertie? Gertie, Gertie, Gertie! Gertie! Right. We'd best get moving, then. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Thanks, Leo. Is the giraffe there yet? Is it? Is it? Is it? Not yet, Lofty. We've got a lot more building to do before then. Oh. I know everything there is to know about giraffes. I even know what they have for lunch. What's that, Lofty? Leaves and flowers and fruit and seeds and herbs and vines. <laughs> now, Scoop, you need to dig down to the level of the string or the rainwater won't drain away properly. Got it? Yep, got it, Bob. Can I start it up now? I want to get breaking! 
I mean, careful braking, of course. Can I? Please, 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 please! OK, Scoop, but only if you help answer one question. What's that, Bob? Can we build it? Yes, we can! Go easy, Scoop. We don't need to dig down to the Earth's core. Is that far? Whoa! Look out, Scoop. I just mean be careful with the da 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 da. Okay, no need to shout. This is so much fun! Well, it works, Bob. It's just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Is this knob? Switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. You think you should slow down a bit, Scoo? I can't hear you, Mum. I've got the da 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 on. Shouldn't you be taking the rubble away? Right. Now I can get some real work done without interruptions. Uh oh. I've sprung a leak! How are you getting on, Scoop? Uh, yeah, everything's going fine, Bob. Just having a breather. <laughs> Phew! This digging is hard work, eh? Well, you're doing a great job. Hey, did you hear that? Oh, that's where that bit goes. Oh, yes. Splendid, splendid. Now, there's no time to lose. Let's get this sorted out before the mayor arrives. There. All finished. Thank goodness. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No! Wait! What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <coughs> Cooper! <coughs> no! What? Cooper! There's a good boy. Give us the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. If only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What? Like a tasty sausage sandwich? But... but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... Well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sausage. Come on, boy. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Hi, team. Hi, Hi there, Madison. Madison. Well... Just fancy, Spring City's very own T-Rex skeleton. 
Any problems getting it here, Mr. Bentley? Problems? No, no, no. I supervise the whole operation. You know you can always trust me to get the job done without any fuss. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Bentley, oh. stop playing with that dog. No. I want to see the dinosaur. I never knew Mr. Bentley was so oh, fond oh, of no. animals. Get off me, down boy. Oh, oh no, no. Stop. Ouch. 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 Where's where you going? Really? Well, you got you my stopped so fast now. and Scoop bumped into me you and it's so unfair. I mean, I know you to did. bump sandwich there. The aliens in the lift. Oh, no. Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. <laughs> it tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Whoa! She wants to go home. Uh oh. Oh, Help! Bob, do something! Fast! Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Pilch it! Fancy a sardine sandwich a la Bob for supper? Someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mere Madison's the guest of honor and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! OK, Muck, lift the portcullis as high as you can. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Don't drop it until I say now. Now? Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Phew. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Oh, who's there? Skull? Is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? Oh, my hero! My, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Of uh, course not. <laughs> my foot's stuck. Right. There. There you go, Prince Fix-a-Lot. Um, thanks. A lot. Yay! Well done, Bob. Well done.
fun team. Bye, Next Bob. Bob. The castle is ready for the festival. Oh, that reminds me. I'd better go and pick up the special costume Mayor Madison ordered for me. I wonder what I'll be dressed as. A noble king? A knight in shining armor, perhaps? Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of Yoldi Fixum Town. Come hither through these castle gates and bow down to your crown. All hail Queen Madison. For your courageous rescue efforts and restoring my castle to its grandeur, I hereby knight you, Bob the Brave. And commend your tremendous team and valiant vehicles. Uh, hello. Uh, someone help me with my hat. Good job, everyone. What do you think of our mountain now, Scoop? Bigger and better than I ever imagined, Bob. You are so clever. He's here! He's here! The bear is arrived! <gasps> Bob, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm. That crate is huge! There must be a massive, fierce bear inside! If there is, it's been very quiet. Let's see it. Would you do the honours, Lofty? Right, oh, Bob! Where's the bear? Oh, is it a fierce one? There it is. <gasps> The bear was supposed to be a fully grown adult. Oh, fantastic! I didn't realise I was getting two bears, a mother and her cub. Oh. It's lucky we made the mountain bigger after all, eh, Scoop? That was a good idea of yours. Oh, they like it. I'm going to call the mountain Scoop's Peak. Really? Wow! I've got a mountain named after me! Oh, I'd like a mountain named after me. I'd quite like a mountain named after me too, Bob. No, guys, no more mountains ever. Aww. Ready, steady, lift! <laughs> I've never won anything before. Well done, Lofty. That's a new world record. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. <laughs> Discus throw! Furby's throw sets the record. I could do this with my eyes closed. Hmm. 
Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Ah! Oh. I'm red all over. You're always red, Muck. Well done, Muck. Uh, machines, I need you all back on site, please. Be there in a moment, Bob. Just after I set a record. Final round. Race to the far tree. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready? Steady? What have you done this time? I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh, dear. The fun run starts in an hour. And we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we draw on our best abilities. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, a beautiful piece of kit. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally mend a car, no problem with the help of one of these. What's Scoop on about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Hello. Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What can I cook for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Daddy? The quickest? Oh, <laughs> oh well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. Oh. And how about the burger and chips? Uh, is that... Um... Chips and a burger, yes. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No, I'm a bit peckish. OK, Mr Bentley, I think all the tyres are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little more in this one. Uh, what do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. OK, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more. No, I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a queue building up. <laughs> Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get on with putting up the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> Uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're going to have to stall your dad for a while longer. Uh, love thing. So, gentlemen, would you like a dessert? No thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? <laughs> the boy must have hollow legs. <laughs> So that, you see, is 
how I managed to survive the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started tidying up. They must be nearly finished. Out of the way! Gaga coming through! That doesn't sound good. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I can't, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing will be to get this lot off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Shall I start my engine? No! Uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? Here it goes. I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. I, I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. That's okay, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? The barriers are broken and we still have to get all the clear plastic panels up. It'll take ages carrying everything all the way round the rink. There is one way we could do it faster. How, Mark? You know how things move faster on ice? Well... Sledding! 